When we talk about megafauna, we talk about fairly large animals on the landscape. And in Australia, you had everything from uh, giant goannas to a diverse suite of kangaroos. You also had wombat-like animals that were the size of rhinoceros. Around between 10,000 and 50,000 years ago, we see these massive megafaunal extinctions happening across the globe. There's huge debates over the cause, especially in Australia. The vast majority of researchers think that humans were the causal factor, a small minority think that climate was the cause. Recently we examined a site called Cuddy Springs, which is the only site on mainland Australia that actually has both human artifacts and megafaunal remains. And what we're finding is evidence that not only did the climate change and it became drier, but that the megafauna are actually shifting their diet pretty dramatically. Now, if climate was a primary or contributing factor, which from the evidence at Cuddy Springs suggests it was, uh, that really says a lot about why these animals may have gone extinct, and we need to start considering climate as a factor. We can actually mold the teeth, make an exact replica or a cast, we place that under a microscope, and we actually map that surface in three dimensions. So if there's lots of scratches that are parallel and oriented in a similar direction, we know that that indicates tough food eating, typically things like grass, or a very complex surface uh, that's typically associated with things that are browsing. And so we can begin to really understand the ecology of these animals by looking just at their teeth. If in fact, the megafaunal extinctions were due to a variety of factors, including climate change, we really need to think about how current levels of climate change are potentially affecting uh, animals today.